Hey Catholic Match, welcome to today's video. My name is Sarah and I'm so happy to have you here. We polled you guys, I polled you guys over on Instagram and I asked you what it is you look for first, where your eye is first drawn when you look at someone's dating profile uh, because we are trying to get to know each other in a way that is kind of unprecedented, right? Which is completely over the internet and that can be really, really difficult. It can be really difficult to present a first impression of yourself that is static, that is in black and white, you know, without some pictures in there. And it's not you, it's really hard. And we here at Catholic Match, we want to help you do that the best way that you possibly can. We want to help you meet people in a way that you wouldn't normally be able to. And that is online. And that is in specifically a space where Catholic people are with other Catholic people. And Anyway, in the name of that intention, I asked you guys, I asked men and I asked women separately, what do you look for? What is the first thing that you go to when you're looking at someone else's dating profile? And I took it all in. You guys were really neck and neck of how uh, many answers and how you guys showed up for for answering my question. So I really appreciate you guys doing that. If you don't follow us over on Instagram, go give us a follow. We're at Catholic Match because this is not something I do rarely. I actually love polling you guys and I like to see what you guys say and how you guys think and including you guys in these videos because these videos are ultimately for you. So um, we also get to hang out more on Instagram if you go over there too, which is really nice. If you like this video, go ahead and let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe here as well because we hang out here too. We hang out everywhere. <laughs> so anyway, without further ado, let's jump on in, shall we? So I actually combined all of these answers and I made it into a short video, which is just like throwing all of these things short and sweet at you of how you can better craft your profile for other people to look at it and to engage with. Um, so let's start with the men. We're going to start with the men today. I think last video I started with the women. So we're going to start with the men. I asked you guys again, what is the first thing that you go to when, where is your eye first drawn when you look at dating profiles over on the Catholic match site? So we're going to go through right now. I have everything on my notes app <laughs> that you guys submitted. Uh, and I'm just going to say it. There is a trend. There are trends. There were trends within men and there were trends within men and women. So we're going to dive on in. Uh, first thing, if you agree with church teachings, now I know that there is a space where you can say ones that you agree with and ones that you do not. Um, this is specifically if you agree with certain church teachings. Men, you guys answered that you have, if you have certain church teachings that you agree with, you want the, the woman to also agree with those church teachings. Not super radical. Uh, but number two, there were a lot of you that also said you wanted women to agree with all of the church teachings because you agree with all of the church teachings. Also, not super radical, but super important, I think. And I think that maybe people can interpret this to be, um, you know, possibly a little bit divisive of like, you want me to agree with everything that church teaches? Um, yeah, I think if a practicing Catholic man wants to be with a practicing, fully practicing Catholic woman, that's totally okay. So anyway, that's out there. Um, and then are you actively practicing? Because there is a difference. I have met people know, I'm sure you know that, oh yeah, I totally agree with all that stuff, but that doesn't mean it actively plays out in my life. Um, that like, I agree, you know, with X, Y, and Z within the Catholic church, or I was raised Catholic, am Catholic, but that doesn't mean that I, um, that you would know I'm Catholic by hanging out with me or meeting with me. That doesn't mean you would, you would actively see it. And so something that uh, men communicated that they really want to see on women's profiles is evidence that you are a practicing Catholic. Another thing that they wanted to see was if and how you saw a future family. Now this is not, don't at me in the comments, this is not men saying that they need women to have five kids or more, or they will only date women who will have at least 10 children. These were very specific. They said they just want you to be clear about how and when and if you see having a family in the future. And then lastly, there was also a uh, 
surprising amount, I would say, I was not anticipating this, of men that wanted to um, see multiple pictures that were of good quality. So I know that there can be a lot of pictures out there and I did a short video on this of how to take a good profile picture, but I think it's something that, um, spoiler, women also said about men, that they just want pictures of you just to clearly see who you are. Going over to the women, what did you guys say you wanted to see on the men's profile? Um, men and women, everyone together, we all, we're all on the same team, you guys. We all want photos and good ones. Women specifically, we're very, very big on men smiling and showing their smile and, and looking happy and looking joyful and, and smiling just showing a smile in your photos. Uh, number two, looking like you care about how you look, uh, taking care of yourself just physically. Not being ripped or a bodybuilder, but like looking like you brush your hair and brush your teeth, which I'm not saying that men don't, but I am passing along that that is something that women are interested in seeing. If you agree with church teachings, same thing as the men said that they want to see with women. If you agree with all of the church teachings, same as the men said about the women. And if you are actively practicing your faith, seeing proof of that in your bio. So again, it's, you know, claiming that you're Catholic and then act actively practicing as a Catholic and having it show up in your, in your personal life. Two very different things these days. Both sides want to see the other practically living out their faith. So why did I pull you guys? And why did I even ask these questions? I asked them because it is important to craft the biggest way to get to know someone else. And that is by your profile. And it's important to craft it in such a way where um, you are attracting the people that you want to attract. And I think it can be kind of hard to guess of all of the different things and all of the different ways that you can build your profile and and have it appear to someone else, I think it can be really difficult to guess how other people are gonna see your profile and how they're gonna interpret what you say. And I think it's really helpful. I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, but I think it's really helpful to have feedback like this from the, from the opposite sex of what I'm looking for and what I wanna see because you have those same things of like, well, this is what I wanna see though. And I think together, just everyone working with one another we can build our profiles in a better way and then meet each other more effectively, perhaps even cut down the amount of profiles that we need to sift through. And, you know, a rising tide, it lifts all boats. So consider this video, your rising tide, consider your profile, a little boat. Let's rise all together. And with that extremely corny metaphor, um, I will end this video, but oh man, let me know in the comments. What do you look for? Do you agree with this list? Do you agree with what everyone pulled with over on Instagram? If you don't, let me know. And if you would have added anything more to this, also drop it down because I want to see it and I'm sure other people do too. With that, I will see you in the next video.